a really confused situation at the moment that um, that inflation is the highest since uh, since 1981. Um, you've got the government in a complete shambles. So uh, it's trying to subsidize prices. Uh, it's paying for that with bonds. The bonds are being sold to the Bank of Japan, uh, which is buying them in order to try and generate some uh, some inflation. So what do you want, inflation or deflation? The the uh, prime minister, of course, um, he, his support rate is getting hammered because of the inflation. Um, and obviously, Japan's not had a pay rise in, in 25 years. It's, it's really frustrated about that. So his support rate's going down. He wants to bring in a dove. Uh, bring in a, a, a hawk, somebody who would uh, rein in inflation, whereas the, um, particularly the faction of um, Abe, uh, for example, wants to move in the opposite direction. I think the chances are that um, Amamiya, who is a, a more of the same guy, or at least perceived as a dove, will be the, the one that ends up getting chosen. Um, it, it would be a surprise. I think um, the Prime Minister just doesn't come from a big enough faction to be able to force through what he wants to do. But I think you've got to remember that um, mm -hmm. Amamiya is a dyed-in-the-wall BOJ guy, and the BOJ is much more concerned about uh, monetary policy, likely to be more hawkish, I think, than, than the market is giving him credit for. In other words, given the inflationary environment you've just outlined, Nick, even if Uber Dove Amamiya gets the job, even he might have to throw in the towel and capitulate and raise rates later on in the year. Well, I think so, surely. I mean, the, the, the law of holes. First law of holes is when you're in a hole, stop digging. And the second law uh, of, uh, of holes is even when you stop digging, you're still in a hole. And the point is the BOJ has bought broadly 56% of the JGB market. So the, the remaining 44% um, uh, are mostly people who have to continue to hold on to bonds. It means there isn't that much more that the BOJ can buy. The BOJ has bought an enormous amount of bonds so far trying to defend its uh, yield curve ceiling. So it's bought 43 trillion yen in bonds, that's $331 billion, 7.8% of GDP just since the start of December. It cannot continue like this. And of course, holdings on those bonds, when, uh, when yields go up, bond prices go down. So they've got losses on their holdings, which have, uh, over the three months between September and December, the, the loss has increased by a factor of 10 to uh, 8.8 .8 trillion yen. So you've, you've got a situation. Do you want to continue buying bonds and increasing the, uh, the risk that, um, mm -hmm. that a rise in, um, in bond deals will cause those, those losses to, to get even larger and take the, um, mm. the BOJ into to negative equity?